He was at Temple before he was at Baylor. So I'm focused less on his time in the NFL. To me, that doesn't correlate or, you know, that doesn't uh, – they don't go together, college and the pros. I think they are two completely different animals. So I'm looking at his time at Temple and Baylor. And, of course, everybody, we're talking about Matt Rule. Um, let me pull up the correct banner here. Um, <clears throat> That's what we're hearing. I've looked up online. Um, Jeffrey's got a source close to the program um, that's saying it's going to be Matt Rule. They're drawing up the contract. Um, I agree with Jeffrey. He wasn't my first choice. I think a little bit of that of reasoning for that is because he got let go by Carolina. You know, you can't help but look at the bad and what happened. But boy, when you talk about him at Baylor and Temple, he revitalized the Temple football program, guys. And I'll, here in a second, I'll look up his record there. But when he was at Baylor, his first season at Baylor, they went 2-10. and 10. The next year, they won eight games in a bowl game. His third year, they were 11-3. and three. He had them playing for the Big 12 championship game in 2019. So you want to talk about a guy that moved quickly and, and revitalized that, that program? You know, yeah, it was Dave Aranda was probably my top choice. Um, I don't know if anyone would agree with me on that. He is the current Baylor coach, but I still am okay. If Matt Rule's the guy, I'm okay with that. I've seen him in interviews. I think he talks well. I think he's a player's coach. I think he's meant for college. If you hear his interview after he got let go by the Panthers, he had a tough time connecting with the players, and that's that's a common theme when college coaches try to go to the league. NFL's a business. It's totally different. You can't control your players. You can't give them a curfew. It's all about money and contracts. In college, I think that's where Matt Rule belongs, and I think it's good that he's a big name. I think it gives us a lot of good um, viewership. I think it gives a lot of attention to our program, and maybe somebody viewing knows if he was a good recruiter at Baylor. I would imagine. Yeah, I know. He was, Jake. He did real good recruiting at Baylor. He did. And he has a reputation for player development as well. So right. at Baylor, you have the luxury of – recruiting in the best state in the country in terms of talent. And yeah, he has a reputation of getting the most out of the teams at Temple. So yep. you got to hope through him and his staff, you know, I, I'd be curious to see who, who he keeps from Carolina or he's got, you know, relatively good connections at the collegiate level that I think, you know, he'd be able to go put together a, a, a good staff that uh yeah he, he may not be the top pick I, I would put him in my top five oh uh, yeah just in terms of he's got the experience you know um and as as the as the last 10 days um you saw Kleiman seems like he's staying at k-state leipold gets a, a a salary increase stoops gets a salary increase um, who's your man at uh, Washington? So, you know, one by one, you saw that these guys were getting salary increases to stay where they're at, where they're relatively happy, not take on the risk of rebuilding a program. And yeah, you'd put, you know, I think Jeffrey, we talked last week about Bill O'Brien might be on that list. Uh, Matt Rule, maybe Campbell, you know, who who's left at this point that I think... Yeah. It's, you know, it's, it's not a, it's not a Mike Riley kind of, um, you know, dark horse pick that people's kind of scratch their heads about, you know, they know who Matt Rule, Rule is. He's good with the camera. He's good with the media. So he'll be that out front guy. Right. Um, so I think he'll do, you know, a lot in terms of the image of the program. And then it just comes down to having a good staff being able to have a very good off-season recruiting, um, you know, signing. Right. He's gotta get, yeah, he's got to get after it real quick. And I think he's an offensive coach, if I don't mistaken. He really had good quarterbacks at Baylor, remember? He really developed there. So I'm hoping that, you know, I'd love it if he was the OC as the coach maybe for a year just to see what's going on. But somebody might ask, too, I'm, I'm going to ask this. Do we know where he's from, Jake? Matt Rule. He's, yeah, he's from he's from Ohio, Indiana. He's from he? the from yeah the Rust Belt, I believe. But we we could look it up. So you know, and and I I thought that as well when I when I was uh, listening or looking. He so he's not a Texas Texas native, 
Okay. So it's not because my, my first impression was, you know, you take the Auburn job because he's got more roots in Texas and the South. But I think it was Steve Sipple or someone else that said he's from New Jersey or Pennsylvania or Indiana, something like that. So, you know, he's so, not tied to a particular region. What, what does yes. it say, Jay? Because as a kid, and this, I just typed in Matt Rule, where he grew up. Said he moved from New York City to State College, Pennsylvania, as a teenager. That's just a real quick blurb. So he, it sounds like he's from the East Coast, Pennsylvania, New York. Yeah. So you know he can fit. He's got that reputation. I would say you know the the his experience in the NFL isn't uh, you know a, a, a mark against him. Bill O'Brien. Maybe this year at Alabama, things haven't gone that well, you know, and, you know, the other thing with Bill O'Brien is how long would he be around? Yeah, right. He certainly wants to get back to the NFL and be a head coach there. Um, so would he just look at this as a stopping point on that journey? Matt That's Rule, a good I think, point. I think Matt, Rule, Matt Rule's 47. Yeah. Is he so, 47? That's a good yeah. point, Joseph. It, it, if yeah. it works out, if it works out, you know, he could be here 10 years. He could right. be here 20 years. Yeah. Um, but to have that sort of stability, you know, that's something Nebraska fans can only dream of at this point. Yep. Yeah. 